because we haven't had the luxury of a, an advertising budget or anything like that. But we've got to, we're getting there with the equipment. We're well over halfway with the GoFundMe, uh, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. And people have been very generous on the YouTube. And, uh, you know, I mean, another five or another ten or here or there, fantastic. And we can buy little bits of stuff with it. We can do little bits of advertising. But it's the, the wonder of the technology that I love. That's good. And I've oh, just seen, oh, Jerry, can I tell you, sorry to interrupt, but we've just seen the Rajar figures come in for the radio stations. And the talk side of things is doing very well. And I know for a fact, a lot of programmers won't know this, but I know this for a fact that talk done properly attracts a massive youth following. You think uh, of yourself, when did you first hear Scotty McClue? Best part of 30 years ago. Aye, uh, that's it. That's it. A way back, Kelly, would it be in the early 90s? Uh, 1994 for Scott FM, 1992 for Lancashire. Uh, right, in, fact, that. in fact, uh, in about four weeks' time, uh, that's 30 years. Ah, uh, good. Um, see, when you go back to, I was watching the, looking at different, uh, what do you call it, wee snippets on YouTube of you. Now, you mentioned that um, you are trying to be grabbed by TV stations. Yes. And the money the money wasn't right. The money wasn't right at the time for what oh. we were uh, what we were planning to do it would have made them see I've made probably not far short of about two hundred million quid for media moguls over thirty years. Right. Two hundred so. million pounds. Now that's serious money. We Tom Scott FM, which was a half million pound project into a £26 million pound business, oh, right? Boy. Now, I didn't get the rewards for that, you know, apart from knowing that I was doing a good piece of creative work. So, that is the thing. So, so I had what? to say to them, I'm going to make you a lot of money here and you're not willing to shell out. Oh. And they think, well, it's very speculative, I think. The proof of the pudding's there for you. Uh, so how good does that person have to be to make a lot, a lot of money in television, Well, Well, it depends on who you are and what you're doing and who likes you. It's very uh, strange and um, what they're looking for at the time. So you will have media moguls. You could go along with all the experience in the world with a superb track record like McClue's got. And it only takes one person on a board to say, no, it's not the sort of thing we're looking for. I mean, I'll give you an example. I got in touch with a very, very senior person in broadcasting. They said, Scotty, I like this. I'm going to pass it on to my, um, what do you call them, commissioning, uh, commissioning editors. He said, I'm going to pass on to one of my commissioning editors. This lovely guy got in touch. He said, hi, Scotty, very entertaining, but I think I'll have to say no. And he didn't give any reason, just that it was out with his ken. Instead of saying, how soon can you get to me for a coffee? I need to know more about what you're proposing and what you're doing. You see? Personality who's appearing in front of camera. No, no, they are not bothered. It's to do with how secure is the programmer feeling about putting that personality on. And that isn't the personality. It's not been greedy. No, there's no greediness about it because no. there's, there's a price. I mean, the only reason I asked for a certain amount of money was because I already had it on the table. Right, right, you I see? understand that. So right. you're, you're actually right, saying, look, I hope you'll forgive me here, but, you know, you're offering me a quid and I've already got 20 quid on the table. Mm. So why why, so, why would I want to go with right. you? If you're offering me 21 quid, then we can talk. Right. So 
That's that's what I couldn't understand that. So now I know uh, roughly where we are coming from. But so you see, I've line. also, Jerry, behaved like a gent, rightly or wrongly. So if I wouldn't sort of go, I've been offered this. Can you up your side of it? I would. Right. I would say I've been offered this, so I'm going to have to say bye bye. Bye. Well, it all comes down to any job. Well, that's what it means, isn't it? Well, that's it. And I mean, you actually. I mean, I. I must say that um, you know, I've. I've. I've delivered everything that was required, and then some. And I think television companies could never understand how one person could deliver such a huge audience and be so successful when they were used to spending fortunes on huge camera crews and outside broadcasts and sets and costumes and all that sort of stuff that goes with the territory. Whereas radio, you actually need a chair and a microphone. And if you're willing to stand, you can do without the chair. Yeah, that's, well, it's been answered, and that was good again to speak to you, to clarify Jerry, that. Jerry, it's always lovely to speak to you, but the, the, the two things, McClue has never been greedy and has always behaved properly. That's good. Well, it's been brilliant to speak to you again. No doubt we'll have a chat later. Will you take great care of your dear self, and think you do. Think you do. <laughs> think you do, la. That's our Jerry. There we are. Uh, top man is Jerry. Bit of a performer himself. He's very interested in the whole television and radio business. Now, I need to read out your comments. This is interesting. Thank you for following, Kermit.